Hello everyone, I'm back with a new video and in this one I'll be introducing my new GPU pass-through guide for Ubuntu. In this demonstration I'm using Ubuntu 20.04, but read the description for any compatibility updates. To successfully do GPU pass-through you will need at least two GPUs, one for the host and one for the guest. If you have an onboard Intel GPU that can be used by the host, also, you have to enable any virtualization extensions in BIOS on uh, Intel. It would be VT-D and VT-X and on AMD uh, they would be called usually SVM and IOMMU. The names might vary depending on your motherboard manufacturer. To get started, let's make sure that our OS is up to date. sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. Okay, so my system is up to date. Next, we'll need to download the script that will do GPU pass-through for us. I'll leave the link in the video description. Okay, so let's go to GitHub and download zip and let's save it. Okay, so now let's go to downloads and let's unzip it. Let's extract it, downloads, pass through helper, and extract here. Okay, next, we'll have to change directory, cd, downloads, and pass through helper. Let's make it executable. chmod plus x gpu pass through dot sh, and let's run it. sudo gpu pass through dot sh okay it will install all the required packages yes so the advantage of this script is that even if you use two identical gpus one of them can be used for the host and the other one can be used for the guest my previous ubuntu 20.04 guide wouldn't allow you to do that so next right here is what the grub command line looks like so amd underscore iommu equals on and kvm.ignore msrs equals one. So if you want to add other things, you can hit Y to edit it. Otherwise, no and keep this. Double check it to make sure that it contains what it should. amd or intel underscore iommu equals on is basically the crucial and the most important part of GPU pass-through. Without it, it wouldn't work. Once that's enabled, you will see your IOMMU groups and KVM ignore MSRS uh, gets rid of some blue screens in the guest, especially when you are using Microsoft Windows. Okay, so we are done. Now we'll have to reboot the system. Okay, and Let's open the terminal and let's run lspci-k. And let's find our two GPUs. So here is the primary GPU used by the OS or the host and it's using the Radeon driver. Doesn't matter whether you use Nvidia or Intel or AMD, the primary GPU should stay the way it is. The primary GPU is whichever one you see output on when you boot the machine and the secondary GPUs are the ones that we'll be using for our virtual machines. And now that they are bound to VFIO-PCI, the host cannot use them. So let's open Virtual Machine Manager, create a new virtual machine and we'll use an ISO so you can download that from Microsoft's website. For Windows 10, browse local, and I have it in downloads. Forward. Now, how much RAM do you want to give to the virtual machine? Uh, keep in mind, you still want to keep some left over for your host, so don't use up all your RAM. I will start with 16 gigs. And how many CPU cores? Let's give it four. I am on Ryzen 5 1600. So again, keep some cores left over for the host. 
size of the hard drive, 40 gigs will be enough for this demonstration. And don't forget, customize configuration before install. This is where all the important stuff when it comes to GPU pass-through happens. So first, we'll be using UEFI. Pick any of them, really. Second, CPUs. I would recommend... Uh, for topology, I would set it manually and instead of four sockets. I would go with four cores and then don't forget doing this. So you can add the GPU right now, or you can do it once Windows is installed. It's up to you. In this guide, I'll install Windows as is, and I'll add the GPU later. When doing GPU pass-through, you will need to add a mouse and a keyboard, because eventually you will be using a separate monitor, or you will be changing the input uh, on your monitor to the other GPU. So you will also need a mouse and a keyboard. You can either do USB host device and just pass through the individual devices, mouse and a keyboard, or you can pass through an entire controller. And I'll just be passing through a controller. It's always better to pass through an entire controller. You will have better experience doing that and you can plug and unplug uh, devices on the fly. So I know this one will work for me and I will link a video that goes over adding USB controllers and IOMMU groups so you can watch that if you want to know more. Okay, so I'll do that and I will start the installation. So once the machine starts, you will have to press any key to boot into Windows and then just proceed with Windows installation. Okay, so the virtual machine is up and running. It detected the mouse and the keyboard that I passed through. So now it's time to give the virtual machine its own GPU. So let's shut it down. Okay, so let's do the necessary steps for GPU pass through. Let's go to virtual machine manager and edit preferences and enable XML editing, close it. Next, uh, let's click on this I icon on our virtual machine and let's click on XML. Okay, right here where it says Hyper-V, we will add a couple things to make our GPU actually work when it's used in the virtual machine. So regardless of the GPU manufacturer, I would recommend doing this. So let's open our browser now and I'll link this in the description and let's search for Arch Linux Wiki and error 43. And let's control F and error 43. We don't want this one. We want a different one. And this is the one video card driver virtualization detection. So copy. Well, Let's actually just copy this and we'll paste it among the Hyper-V tags. Okay. And you can change the vendor ID to something else. And then we need this. And we'll paste that right after Hyper-V tags. Okay. Apply. Next, we'll have to add the secondary GPU. So PCI host device, and we'll just have to find it. In my case, it will be this 980. And one more. And this one will be the audio function of that GPU. So you want to pass through both of them. If you have a 2000 uh, RTX card, uh, you will need to pass through four portions of that GPU. They also have a USB component. So basically the, everything that's part of the GPU has to go together. So now we can start the virtual machine and you should get some output on the connected GPU. But for now, just for compatibility reasons, we'll run it and we'll install the drivers from this Linux uh, console. Okay, so the GPU was detected. Okay, and we'll 
if they don't install automatically, you can just go to device manager, right click on update drivers, or you can download the drivers from the manufacturer's website. Okay, so the driver was installed. Let's close this. So now we have our GPU and this is the QXL graphics card, the virtualized one. So what we'll want to do is shut down the virtual machine. Go to the settings, the hardware icon, the I, and delete the QXL. Well, delete. we can delete the tablet. Uh, before we can delete QXL, we'll delete display spice and then delete QXL. So we are basically getting rid of the virtual GPU. Uh, the sound, I usually delete that. I either use normally a USB sound card or you can do scream, uh, audio pass through, or uh, you can keep it there if you want. So it's, it's your call. So now uh, when we launch the virtual machine, you will see output on a monitor connected to the guest graphics card. So in my case, the 980. If you don't have two monitors, you can just uh, change inputs on the same monitor. Uh, you just need two DisplayPort cables, two HDMI cables, whatever you want to do, or you can just, if, or you can just move physically switch the cable between the two graphics cards. So, but ideally, you would have two monitors. So let's launch this virtual machine. Okay, so I launched the virtual machine and we see black screen. So next I have to switch the input to my second graphics card. And there it is. So this is the virtual machine we installed earlier. When we go to display adapters, we see our GTX 980. When we look at our task manager, we see it's a virtual machine. So that's that for GPU pass-through on Ubuntu. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.